Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing another video like this, but this is something that I've kind of wanted to do. Um, my graphics card has been running really hot recently, and that is because uh, I just recently started doing a three monitor setup, and after doing some research, your graphics card, uh, once you're running three displays, actually requires its base clock to go up a little bit to keep up with the refresh rate. So both of these monitors up top are 60 hertz, while my main monitor that I play games on and just, you know, use for editing and pretty much everything else is 144 hertz. So as you can see, um, this is my PC. This is a GTX 980 and my CPU is a AMD FX8350. Yes, I know it's on the old side, but I built this in late 2015. It is currently early 2017. Um, it's still holding up for now. I'll probably end up upgrading in the next year or so. But really, the main reason why I'm making this video is because this thing is running really hot at idle. Uh, as to where before I would idle when I had just one or two monitors, I would sit between like 35 and 40 degrees idling. And now, if you take a look, uh, we are idling at 59 degrees, sometimes we'll touch 60, and that's just, you can see uh, right here, even sometimes the, the fans will kick on, and that's just ridiculous for idle, that, that shouldn't be happening, um, especially with an aftermarket cooler uh, like this from MSI. This is the gaming uh, 4G, uh, the GTX 980. So. Yeah, like I said, that's that's ridiculous. As you can see here, my CPU, on the other hand, is fantastic. Uh, 15 degrees sometimes will dip as low as 14 or 13 degrees Celsius, and that is because of this uh, 140 millimeter uh, Kraken from NZXT. This is the Kraken X41, and uh, the only reason why I have this is because a friend hooked me up for cheap um, with this, and also this, this brand new uh, Kraken X31, um, still in the plastic, hasn't been opened, and I just recently picked this up. This is the adapter bracket for my graphics card. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be slapping that on my 980 and hopefully being able to drop those temps some. So I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. I don't know if I'll be doing it again uh, anytime soon. But I'm, I'm a pretty big PC enthusiast, and this is really my kind of thing. So let me know down in the comments what you think, and uh, enjoy the time lapse. Also, one quick note before we get started. A few things I wanted to mention. If you, if you are also a PC gamer or just a PC enthusiast in general, and you have a graphics card that runs kind of hot, and you want to consider doing something like this yourself, um, these are some of the tools I'd recommend. This is an iFixit. Uh, screwdriver kit you can pick this up on Amazon for pretty cheap um, it has all the bits that you need some isopropyl alcohol um, I'm gonna be getting some paper towels and that's to clean the thermal paste off of the graphics card um, some zip ties to do some cable management um, wire cutters to do to trim the zip ties um, so excess isn't hanging off and this also is a magnetic dish that I'm going to be keeping screws in in the meantime um, so yeah, that and also a clear workspace somewhere uh, that'll be out of the way. So yeah, these are the things I'd recommend using. Um, so yeah, let's get started.
Okay, after probably about 30 minutes, uh, got everything put together, um, everything's graphics cards powered back up, um, power cables from the power supply, cable management isn't that great um, from the cables coming off the pump and everything, uh, but I did my best. Uh, fans, we got two Corsair SP120s um, in push-pull on this radiator, so hopefully uh, that'll show some pretty nice temperatures, but we're about to do our first test to see if it turns on and whether or not my computer will flood. So here we go. If you can hear that, it's the sound of the pump going for the first time. If you can hear that water running. Awesome, we're in Windows. All right, let's uh, wait a couple minutes and check cam and see what our temps look like. Okay, so to wrap things up, um, I just played about three games of Rocket League, two or three games, and used to, my graphics card would hit high 60s, close to 70 um, while playing Rocket League. And now, if we take a look here, um, still have Rocket League open, and we have not gone above 53 degrees. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, graphics, uh, CPU is well in check as well. And uh, needless to say, I actually think it turned out looking a lot better than I thought it would. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I, I got a mess I need to clean up. All right, so if you've enjoyed uh, this kind of video, please leave down in the comments um, your opinions, your thoughts, and if you'd like to see any more videos like this on the channel. If not, um, you know, let me know down in the comments and I'll keep making stupid video game videos that are bad. But anyway, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.